to all of our invited guests, um, Yusek Bernisayo and all of those virtually and online. The um, hearing of the Committee on Hiring, Technical and Vocational Education is hereby resumed. May I ask the Secretary to um, acknowledge the presence of our guests, both um, physically present and those who are with us virtually. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Good morning. Uh, let me acknowledge the presence of our resource persons for this hearing. Uh, we'll start with um, Yusek Bernardino Sayo, who is here with us physically uh, from the Presidential Legislative Liaison Office. And together with uh, us this morning, our virtual um, attendees, uh, let me acknowledge um, the Representative Steve Chong Bian Solon from the Lone District of Sarangani, from the Commission on Higher Education. We have Commissioner Mark Libre. Executive Director Cinderella Filipina Benitez Haro, Engineer Hill Luzares, and Dr. Leonida Escalagi. From the Technical Education and Skills Development Authority, it is represented by um, Deputy Director General Tonesito Umali, Attorney Joyce Balong, and Ms. Beverly Bayonisto. From the United Student Financial Assistance System for Tertiary Education or UNIFAST, we have OIC Executive Director Ryan Estevez and Ms. Marlem Elect Hoveliano. From the Philippine Association of State Universities and Colleges, we have Dr. Tirso Ronquillo. From the Coordinating Council of Private Educational Associations or COCOPEA, we have Ms. Joyce Ann Samaniego, Attorney Joshua Calaguas, and Attorney Joseph Noel Estrada. From the, um, the, from the following state universities and colleges, we have from the University of Science and Technology of Southern Philippines, uh, its president, Dr. Ambrosio B. Coltura II, together with Dr. Maria Elena Palma, Dr. Vanessa Ascanio, Dr. Ruel Cabahog, Attorney Erwin Busho, and Ms. Catherine Carcosa. From the Ilocos Sur Polytechnic State College, we have its president, Dr. Gilbert R. Arce. From the Davao de Oro State College, we have its president, Dr. Christy Jean Villanueva Ganiera. From the Bataan Peninsula State University, we have its president, Dr. Gregorio J. Rodis, together with Dr. Emmanuel Macaraeg and Director Ives Consunje. From the Mindanao State University, we have Dr. Alma Beroa, Attorney Shedik Abantas, and Dr. Amerikan Cabarro. From the University of Antique, we have Dr. Pablo S. Crespo, Jr., and lastly, we have from the Southern Leyte State University, its President uh, Dr. Pros I.V. Yepes, together with Director uh, Wade Lim. That's all, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Claire. Um, let's proceed. We have 21 bills to take up this morning. I'll try to be um, as efficient as possible in taking them up. Let's first take up Senate Bill Number 975. An act providing for a moratorium on student loan payments during disasters and other emergencies filed by Senator Lapid. May I ask um, to whomsoever this may be relevant, sino bang nagbibigay ng loan sa mga estudyante? Do private HCIs provide loans to students? Do we have a, rep do we have a representative from a private school association? Good morning. Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Chair, good morning po. From Copopeya, we are representing yes, the sir. private education. Um, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, there are uh, private higher education institutions that provide loans, in-house loans, but uh, not, not for everyone. There's also um, a component in the UNIFAST for student loan program that may also be implemented in the private higher education sector, but not yet been uh, implemented, Your Honor. Your comments on the proposed moratorium during states or periods of calamity? Mr. Chair, we interpose no objection on the proposed bill 
In fact, this is uh, aligned with uh, with RA11469, um, particularly uh, the section which provides, if I may be allowed to read. Please, direct sir. All, yeah, um, direct all banks, quasi-banks, quasi financing companies, lending companies, and other financial institutions, public and private, including the government service insurance system, social security system, and public big fund, to implement a minimum of 30-day grace period for the payment of all loans, including but not limited to salary, personal, housing, and motor vehicle loans, as well as credit card payments falling due within the period of the enhanced community, community quarantine without incurring interest, penalties, fees, or other charges. Persons with multiple loans shall likewise be given the minimum 30-day grace period for every loan. So I think this is uh, consistent with the proposed bill. Um, however, Your Honor may... Uh, we also be uh, asked to maybe also be allowed to clarify if this covers promissory notes uh, because, uh, Your Honor, if this will cover promissory notes, notes because they are also in the nature of loans uh, loosely, then for the private higher education institutions, this will paralyze um, operations of private higher education institutions, especially during times of pandemic or calamities where... They're, they also need to support the uh, salaries and compensation of its employees and, and the operation of these schools. So uh, with that, uh, Your Honor, we, we will submit our formal position paper along these two grounds. Thank you. May we hear from UNIFAS? Uh, thank you, Mr. Mr. Chair. Uh, this is Attorney Esteves from uh, UNIFAS. Uh, in so far as UNIFAS is concerned, Mr. Chair, we, we interpose no objection to the proposed measure, as, we would, uh, as it would strengthen, not weaken, the purpose of student loans as envisioned by both Sections 8 of RA 10687 and RA 10931, specifically the purpose of serving assistance to higher education institutions as students uh, through student loan programs, Mr. Chair. Attorney Ryan, may I get your view with respect to what was um, brought up by Cocopea with respect to does it cover promissory notes? Uh, as of this time, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, we, we have not yet uh, implemented the student loan program, uh, particularly in uh, private... No, your comment, I, sir, no? sorry, if I may, your comment on... Not including promissory notes with the intent of the law on student loan programs. Uh, Mr. Uh, Chair, we will have to study this uh, because uh, our uh, our original um, intent on the student loan program is that uh, it is paid in installments through the uh, the bank, no. So uh, the bank will have to be, uh, will have to come up with a uh, collection mechanism. Um, attorney, um, the representative of Cocopea, sir. Yes, yes, uh, Mr. Chair. Pag may, pag may pinautang kayo sa estudyante, does he give a promissory note, or only when he failed to pay? The, yung, usually, po, the, the promissory notes, those are for those who cannot pay their tuition on time. Uh, and if ever there will be loan, loan um, in-house loan uh, programs for schools, it is covered by a separate um, student loan agreement with the school. Then let me answer you directly. It does not cover, and let it appear in the record, that the bill will not cover um, promissory notes. This will only cover the student loan program and postponements of payments or a moratorium in the payment of the student loan program. Would that be satisfactory to you? Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chair, for that clarification. We, are, we appreciate that very much. No need to state in the law um, and specify it um, because the intent of Congress is part and parcel of um, the written letter of the law. Your other concern was what? Again, Attorney um, Joseph? Or no, what's your, how do I call you, Joseph or Noel? Uh, Joseph, Mr. Chair. Attorney Joseph, what was your second concern? Um, yun lang po yung uh, major, Mr. Chair. Uh, right. We'll just wait for the implementation of the student loan program in the UNIFAST and if it will also be covered by the moratorium also. Okay, Chair would like to suggest some amendments. Um, can you take note? Uh, may I ask the Secretary to take note? 
On line 20, page 3, delete the phrase of emergency after the word calamity until the semicolon after the word term on line 22. And then put the semicolon after calamity and continue it with the word provided and delete the word further. And delete section seven. Section seven, Attorney Joseph is on the retroactivity of this bill. So this will, bill will be implemented prospectively. Thank you, Mr. Ano, Chair. Paano ka pa magdedeclare ng moratorium kung nagbayad na sila, ibabalik pa niyo yun? Malabo naman yun. With those amendments, Chair directs the Committee Secretary, um, Chair hereby approves Senate Bill Number 975 and directs the Committee Secretary to prepare the corresponding committee report. So ordered. Next is House Bill Number 5001 on the Free Entrance Examination Act. May I hear from Attorney Joseph again? Mr. Chair, we also interpose no objection on the, pri on the part of the private higher education sector. Uh, in fact, uh, many, uh, many private higher education institutions provide um, not only for the top uh, students, but also for underprivileged. So um, we have many programs similar to this, and we interpose no objection. And it's also, um, I know this is also covered by um, uh, programs under UNIFAST. So again, we interpose no objection, po, Mr. Chair. Comments from UNIFAST? Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, the, the free admission only covers uh, state universities and CHED recognized local universities, but it does not cover uh, the uh, private higher education institutions. The proposed, bill, the proposed bill covers private higher educational institutions. Yes, Mr. Chair. So this would, in effect, uh, uh, be a uh, an additional... Uh, expense on and, and budget on the part of, of uh, UNIFAST and CHED, Mr. Chair. Meaning to say, but additional expense? Uh, Mr. Chair, because uh, yung, yung pong ang free, uh, free education, uh, isang pong component ton is yung admission fees. Pero yung free education po, ang cover lang po nun ay state universities and CHED. Mm -hmm. Yes, nagsalita na ang kokopya, na wala silang objection. I will you object for them. Sir? Attorney Ryan, nagsabi na ang kokopya, na wala silang objection. Why would you object for private HEIs? Um, uh, Mr. Chair, I just uh, um, I just uh, manifested that uh, the free because uh, Attorney uh, Estrada mentioned about UNIFAST Okay, so you have no objection, sir. You have no objection, sir. You said, Sayo, feel free to say if you have any reservations, sir. Given the info, given Attorney Ryan, please check your signal. Ah, uh, uh, yes. There being there being no objections from Cocopea, which will be burdened, if at all, by this bill and expressing their support there too. House Bill number 5001 is hereby approved and adopted. Secretary is directed to prepare the corresponding committee report and kindly review it for any grammatical or clerical errors before filing the committee report. So ordered. Senate Bill Number 1351, an act establishing the Philippine Entrepreneurs Academy and appropriating funds therefore is hereby referred to a technical working group to be chaired by the secretary, by the committee secretary, and for them to conduct the necessary hearings in order to hear and thresh out um, the proposed Senate bill. So ordered. Senate Bill Number 108, an act mandating higher educational institutions and technical vocational institutions to ensure the safety and security of academic community from internal external threats, thereby creating a safety and security committee for this purpose. Who is the representative of CHED? Commissioner Mark? Who can answer about a question about this? 
Um, Mr. Chair, uh, good morning po. I'm Attorney Harrod, the Executive Director of the Commission. I will uh, answer yes, the law for regarding this bill. Do Mr. I need a law for this or can Chad just do this? Uh, actually, Mr. Chair, uh, it's already incorporated in RCM on number 9, series of 2022. As we have the enhanced, enhanced policies and guidelines on student affairs and services. So how is the level of implementation of this memorandum? Is it being followed across the board with both public and private HAIs? Yes, sir. It's, uh, yeah, it should be, um, it should be uh, done by both public and private higher education institutions. Uh, although, Mr. Chair, hindi pa lang yung specific creation of a safety and security committee, wala pa lang po yung ganoong um, uh, specific provision, Mr. Chair. Um, can you include it? Yes po, it can be included po, Mr. Chair. Actually, meron na pong uh, direction ng commission to develop a, a platform, a mechanism for a safe and health, uh, healthy, safe, uh, safety and health campus here. Chair hereby defers further consideration of Senate Bill Number 108 pending the issuance by Ched of the corresponding memoranda or memorandum covering this particular thing. And as soon as the same is submitted, um, Committee Secretary is directed to communicate with the Office of Senator Angara to inform him if he still wants to pursue um, this bill given the issuance of Ched. So ordered. Next, ma'am, please stay on screen. Senate Bill Number 854. Mandating the integration of the National Building Code, blah, 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 in the curriculum. As chair of the Committee on Higher Education, I am not inclined towards legislating the curriculum in any way whatsoever, principally because it cannot and should not be written in stone. It should be flexible enough to be adjusted without need for passage of a law. May I get your thoughts on that, Attorney? Uh, actually, Mr. Chair, per coordination with our uh, Standards and Development Office, it's already integrated uh, in the Civil Engineering and uh, Mechanical Engineering curriculum, Mr. Chair. Although it's not a standalone course, it's already it's only included as one of the topics that may be included, uh, that uh, may be discussed, or that should be discussed in that uh, program, Mr. Chair. May I ask you, Attorney, is the curriculum found in a law of any course? Um, Mr. Chair, meron pa lang po isa ngayon, the labor education uh, subject, it has been integrated, it has been uh, formulated into law, Mr. Chair, that it should be integrated as a an elective subject. Pero otherwise po, um, wala pa po, uh, wala na po buko doon. Then let's not start. Kindly communicate um, the response of um, the good attorney. What's your first name, ma'am? Uh, attorney Cinderella Haro, Mr. Chair. Kindly incorporate in the transcript the comments of Attorney Cinderella in the position of the chair to the office of Senator Revilla. And unless he has any objections, um, and if he exceeds, chair orders that Senate Bill number 854 be sent to the archives. Senate Bill number 1212, um, an act authorizing CHED, Authorizing higher education curriculum development and graduate training in advanced energy and green building technologies. Same, ma'am. I have the same position with respect to this, but um, out of curiosity, is green technology and green building technologies and advanced energy incorporated in any curriculum in any course? Um, Mr. Shredder is already a law about green technology, and we are uh, going that direction. Um, there is a uh, function of the commission they are saying that we should integrate a curriculum or a topic about green technology, Mr. Chair. So we are going towards that direction already, Mr. Chair. You're referring to RA number 11393? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Um, kindly communicate. Committee Secretary is directed to communicate with the Office of Senator Revilla that the subject matter of Senate Bill number 1212 is covered or included in RA 11393, which was approved in the 17th Congress. Thereafter, unless the Office of Senator Revilla has any objections, chair hereby orders that the same be sent to the archives. So ordered. Senate Bill number 1235 on citizens' military training and Senate Bill number 1349 is hereby referred to the subcommittee chaired by Senator De La Rosa. So ordered. TESDA Training and Assessment Centers. Do we have a representative from TESDA?
Who is our representative from Tesla? Deputy Director General Omar Tonito? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Hello, hello, Your Honor. Yes. Can I see you on screen? Tonito? Yes, I'm, I'm... How are you? Game? I, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay po, uh, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, no, I, no. Think, I, I just would like to check first, Mr. Chair, with the indulgence of this honorable committee. I think our regional director uh, uh, for uh, Region 8 uh, is also present right now, uh, Mr. Chair. It's okay. It's okay. Um, your comments on Senate Bill Number 1266, establishing a TESDA center in Maasin. Uh, yeah, we, without prejudice to the uh, thoughts of our, uh, our regional uh, director, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, we have we interpose uh, no objection uh, in principle, Mr. Chair. Kaya lamang po, gusto ko lamang po ibahagi na may uh, provision po sa, sinasabi ko lang po, Mr. Chair, ha, na sa Test the Act of 1994 na ang uh, layunin po dapat ng uh, batas ay to eventually devolve the uh, training functions uh, of TESDA to uh, our LGUs. At marami po, sinasabi ko lang Mr. Chair, though we, we interpose <coughs> objection to this, ang nagsasabi naman po nung mga nag advocate po ng devolution, bakit daw po pa gagawa ng mga training test centers na imamanage pa rin ng TESDA kung ang layunin naman po ay uh, i-devolve ito sa LGU. So we just would like to state that for the record, but the idea of uh, establishing a training and assessment center in the city of Maasin, province of South, Southern Leyte, in principle, will still be uh, uh, very, very uh, helpful, Mr. Chair, in fulfilling the mandate of TESDA, uh, ang pwede po namin gawin po dito uh, para hindi po uh, humiwalay dun sa uh, devolution provision ng TESDA Act of 1994 ay maaari po namin gawin po ito para i-equip ang mga local government units to assume the uh, direct training function of, of TESDA uh, at uh, kami po ay mag-focus sa higher uh, NC levels uh, to the extent uh, applicable kung ano man pong uh, industriya o trabaho ang uh, available po sa lugar kung saan it itatatag po itong training center na ito. Yun naman po ang amin naman pwedeng gawin. Uh, inuulit ko lamang po para po uh, maging uh, matapat pa rin dun sa uh, devolution provision po ng, uh, ng batas. Thank you Mr. Chair. Thank you, Didi. I take it that the same is your comment with respect to 1269 for Mangkayan in Yes, Mr. Chair. I think the objective of Senator Marcos in filing these bills would be to simply hasten its establishment without contradicting the intention of the 1994 law that in the future, or the intent is, later on for this to be devolved to local government units. At least my established my jump start, perhaps she intends to fund this. Um, in the 2023 budget, because clearly you don't have a budget for this yet. So um, it's just a jump started, and it's in no way in contradiction to your 1994 intent and direction of devolving simpler um, skills to be handled by um, LGUs. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. And uh, in fact, Mr. Chair, uh, while there is a devolution provision uh, articulated under uh, Section 29 of the law, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, uh, that's Section 29, Mr. Chair. There's also a Section 20 provision, Mr. Chair, sa RA 7796 naman, na we will uh, strengthen and develop uh, a strong network of uh, skills development centers nationwide. 
Doon po sa wisdom na sinabi po ninyo, Mr. Chair, saktong-sakto po yun para nga po uh, maging uh, ma-reconcile yung dalawang provision na ito. Okay, let the comments of the Chair and the comments of the Deputy Director General form part of the records insofar as these two bills are concerned. Um, Chair hereby approves Senate Bill Number 1266 and 1269 and directs the Secretary General to kindly prepare the corresponding committee report so that it can be referred to um, plenary. Thank you, Tanita. Item number 11, House Bill number 4635. Um, an act extending the term of office of um, the President of Adyong Memorial State College from three to four years. May I get the comment of Ched, please? Who from Ched can make a comment? Attorney? Attorney Cinderella? Yes, I Mr. can't Chair. hear you. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Uh, actually, the same bill has already been um, uh, legislated in the previous, uh, previous, uh, um, uh, previous uh, previously, Mr. Chair, so we interposed no objection. Taking into account, Mr. Chair, that um, in our uh, SUCs, Mr. Chair, is the term of office of the president is uh, four years per RAE 292. Is there a need to amend its charter, or is it deemed amended or repealed accordingly? Uh, I think the uh, hindi po yata, Mr. Chair, hindi pa po yata na uh, include po ito, hindi pa po na amend. Kaya po nila pinapa-amend ngayon. Kaya nga, nung pinasa yung Higher Education Modernization Act, did it not effectively amend all of the charters of all of the state colleges and universities? Well, as, 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 uh, in my view, Mr. Chair, personal view, which be, so I'm taking a look at the previous, uh, at the law of uh, adjunct, parang nauna nga po ito yata, Mr. Chair. So, dapat po talaga na amin po ito. Dapat i to? Yes, sir. Okay. House Bill number 4635 is hereby adopted and approved. Committee secretaries directed to prepare, prepare the corresponding committee report after reviewing. The same for any typographical or clerical errors. So ordered. Next, ma'am. Stay there, Attorney Cinderella. An act, House Bill number 1456. I will take it in conjunction with Senate Bill number 1221. Because Senate Bill 1221 seeks to establish a campus using the old name and House Bill number 1456 seeks to change the old name and converting it to University of Science and Technology of the Philippines. Your comment, Attorney Cinderella. Meron bang Northern, Western, at Eastern? Uh, Mr. Chair, ang um, comment po namin dito. Um, usually, uh, Mr. Chair, it is really the governing board of the university concerned which should uh, have a position regarding the change of name. Um, previously, Mr. Chair, we made the position regarding the sad name uh, because of uh, certain considerations. But in this case, uh, USPG naman po, um, is one of the premier university when it comes to uh, science and technology, Mr. Chair. So we interpose uh, no objection on the changing of the university, USPP name into University of Science and Technology of the Philippines. My question is, is there a University of Science and Technology of Eastern Philippines, of Western Philippines, of Northern Philippines, o wala? Wala po Ito yata. Ito ba sa isang Science and Technology University natin? Ay, pero po, Mr. Chair, marami pa pong Science and Technology <laughs> na SUCs. Pero local? Uh, Iba-iba po yung names sila. Opo. Minsan po, um, uh, nasa Visayas po, kaya sa Mindanao po, Mr. Chair. So, may mga uh, SUCs po tayo na may science and technology po ang name. May we hear from USTSP? Do we have a representative from the University of Science and Technology of Southern Philippines? Uh, Mr. Chair, magandang umaga. Yes. Uh, this is uh, Commissioner Mark Libre, Mr. Chair. Yes, Mark. Uh, I am the chair designate of the uh, USTSP, Mr. Chair. I'd just yes. like to manifest, Mr. Chair, I'd just like to put on the record 
that the changing of the name has been uh, approved by the governing board, Mr. Chair. This has been supported by the representatives coming from the faculty and students and even the private sector representatives, Mr. Chair. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chair. Of course they will, Commissioner, because um, but my question is, Meron bang ibang science and technology college or university under CHED that um, wouldn't want you to be the Philippine Science and Technology University? Meron bang ganun in, in so far as your knowledge is concerned since you represent CHED? Wala naman. M Mr. Chair, this is from your STP. I very recognize. Huh? No, sir. Wait, sir. I'm talking to um, Commissioner uh, Mark. Commissioner Mark, are you aware um, of any objections or reservations from other colleges or universities that's named Science and Technology College or University? Uh, so far, Mr. Chair, in Mindanao, Mr. Chair, none, Mr. Chair. Uh, as, of, as to my knowledge, Mr. Chair, uh, I indulge um, with uh, Attorney Hiro being the Executive Director, Mr. Chair. Since you sit in the board, let's go to Senate Bill number 1221. If you're changing the name, then I guess the campus that is being proposed to be established by Senator Gachalian should also carry the new name already. Would that be correct? Kasi University of Science and Technology, Southern Philippines, Cagayan de Oro City pa rin si Senator Gachalian eh. Yes. Sabay na natin yung palit ng pangalan doon. Commissioner Mark? Uh, pa, yes, Mr. Chair. Pa, amend mo na naman sa akin to. Uh, Mr. Chair, pertaining to the uh, uh, pertaining to the bill, Mr. Chair, of Senator Gachalian, Mr. Chair, uh, I'm not actually the chair designate of the university, Mr. Chair. Uh, Attorney Haro? Um... Attorney Cinderella, yes, ma'am, your comments on the establishment of a campus in Cagayan de Oro? Uh, yes, sir. Um, uh, for our regional office, we are not interposing any objection as to the establishment of a campus of a USTP in Barangay Balubal, Cagayan de Oro. Um, we also, we will not interpose also an objection if it will carry the new name, if, it, if the new name will be approved, uh, Mr. Chair. So the same is true for Lumbia, Barangay Lumbia and Barangay Bula Balubal. Same answer, Attorney Cinderella? Yes, Mr. Chair. Okay. Um, sorry, President Kultura. I will just approve this. If you say something else, we might have a different decision. Approvahan ko na lang po ito, ha? Thank you um, very much, uh, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Senate Bill number 1456 is hereby approved. Committee Secretary is directed to prepare the corresponding committee report. Senate Bill number 1221 and 1226 are likewise approved, subject to the amendment that the name that will be reflected will no longer be University of Science and Technology of Southern Philippines, but already University of Science and Technology of the Philippines. And in order to, um, so as not to be confused, kindly submit the committee report on House Bill number 1456 first. And thereafter, as soon as it becomes a law, submit the committee report on the two House bills containing the new name already, as soon as it becomes effective and a law. Would that be okay, President Kultura? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, okay, thank you sir. very much. Thank you. So ordered. Item number 15, expanding and creating the regular campus of the University of Antique and appropriating funds therefore. Um, Attorney Cinderella. Uh, our usual office, Mr. Chair, is not interposing any objection uh, um, subject to compliance with the CHED standards and guidelines, but they would like to um, include Mr. Chair if they can focus, if that campus can focus on agriculture uh, since that is a trust of uh, Region 6, Mr. Chair. Committee Secretary is directed to incorporate the proposal of Attorney Cinderella of CHED 
in the proposed bill in so far as focusing on agriculture and compliance with the requirements imposed by CHED in their guidelines and memoranda with respect to the establishment of campuses, kindly included in the provisions of the proposed bill. Thereafter, I'm kindly prepared to correspond to the committee report as the chair is hereby approving Senate Bill number 899 subject to those amendments. So ordered. Um, Senate Bill number 1220, an act establishing campuses of the Ilocos Sur Polytechnic State College in the municipalities of San Juan and Cabugao, province of Ilocos Sur, filed by Senator Gachalian, Attorney Cinderella. Uh, Mr. Chair, um, for our records, there is a uh, merge, there is, there was a bill or there was a law um, incorporating um, this camp, this uh, SUC with another SUC. So, Mr. Chair, can, can we get for, if possible, for the comments of the SUC concerned? Because uh, if I remember, this has been passed into law already. Do we have a representative from the Ilocos Sur State College, Polytechnic State College? Good morning, Mr. Chair. Yes, Dr. Arce? Yes, yes, Mr. Chair. I'm the president yes, of the... Yes, I'm the president of the Locusur Polytechnic uh, State College. Uh, there, uh, Republic Act 11755, uh, converting the Locusur Polytechnic uh, State College and integrating the North Luzon Philippines State College uh, in Candon City is the law that uh, um, Attorney uh, Haro is referring to. Uh, this bill filed by Senator uh, Wingat Chalian is uh, or intends to create another uh, campuses of the Lucosur Polytechnic uh, State College in the municipalities of San Juan and Cabugao, Mr. Chair. Galing ba sa inyo yan, sir? Yung proposal, sir? Yes, sir. Uh, this, this was conceived uh, during the 18th Congress because this the idea of... Uh, creating uh, campuses in uh, San Juan and Cabugao um, uh, emanated from former Deputy Speaker D.V. Sabeliano, sir. So he, uh, the lot for Cabugao campus actually has been or was donated by their family. Has this been approved by the board, the establishment of these campuses? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you have any objections to the establishment of these two campuses? Uh, we do not have any objection, uh, Your Honor. Okay. Um, Attorney Cinderella, was your, was your question answered adequately by Dr. Arce, President Arce? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Um, but I would like to manifest, Mr. Chair, that a subject to compliance with, PSG, uh, with our standards and guidelines. Uh, taking into account that we had an initial evaluation of uh, what they're offering at marami pa po silang hindi uh, nakocomply, okay. Mr. Chair. Okay. Um, committee Secretary is directed with respect to the establishment of all campuses, para hindi na pa ulit ulit si Attorney Cinderella, to insert the provision with respect to compliance with all said requirements, regulations, rules, and memoranda with respect to the establishment of a campus before the same will be effective. Having said that, Senate Bill number 1220 is hereby approved and committee secretaries directed to effect the amendment as discussed and to prepare the corresponding committee report. Next, Attorney Cinderella. Actually, Attorney Cinderella, can you make it omnibus? For Nabuntaran, Bagak, Munay, Pintuyan, and Alabel. Do you have any objections with the establishment of these campuses in these respective areas? in the respective and corresponding state colleges and universities. Subject to the same condition we imposed earlier, which I ordered included already in all of the bills. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Subject to that uh, no provision. No objection? Yes, Mr. Chair. No objection. With the permission of the representatives of the respective state colleges of the Valdeora State College, Bataan Peninsula State University, Mindanao State University, Southern Leyte State University, and Sarangani State College. We will, I presume, all of you are in favor of this, or 
Speak now if you have any objections. If there are none, I will proceed to adopt and approve it. Since wala nagre ng salita. Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, can we speak uh, and make manifestation for Mindanao State University, Your Honor? Are you objecting, ma'am? Are you objecting, ma'am? Uh, sir, we, we are not, in principle, we are not objecting, but we wish to uh, be given uh, the chance to submit our position paper because uh, we would like that the additional campus proposed for Mindanao State University will not in any way affect the existing uh, two campuses in the province of Lanao del Norte. So we hope that uh, we will be allowed to... Uh, to, what, to is your, submit. what is your concern, ma'am? How will it affect uh, the two other campuses in Lanao del Norte? Uh, uh, sir, because uh, if we will be allowed to make our recommendation, we wish that the uh, new campus to be uh, open will have its unique mandate so that uh, uh, and the courses will uh, be able to address the need of the area, but without, of course, jeopardizing the existence of the two uh, small campuses in Lano del Norte. We, in principle, we are not objecting, sir. In fact, we support, but we just want to uh, make sure uh, that uh, the two campuses, MSU LNAC and MSU MSAT, will also be considered because uh, we want that... Uh, Everyone will have a chance to survive. Thank you. Ma'am, ma'am, are you speaking for MSU and the entire board? Uh, sir, actually, uh, we also want to manifest that this uh, topic has not yet been discussed in the level of the governing board of the Mindanao State University. But we are here to make the manifestation that we are not objecting for uh, MSU uh, MUNAI. Only that we want uh, certain uh, discussions so that we also want to protect the interest of MSU LNAC and MSU MSAT. Uh, in that manner, we want that. Uh, Can you talk about it now, ma'am? Ano gusto niyo mangyari? Uh, gusto po namin, sir, na. You want to limit the courses? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, para hindi po magkaroon ng competi competition among, uh, and we, uh, among our campuses. And we hope that this will be discussed at the level of the governing board. So, hindi pa to aprobado ng board? Hindi pa po na discuss and we hope that uh, in the next uh, board meeting by December, we will include this uh, as an agenda item, Your Honor. Then the chair will provisionally approve this. Subject yes, sir, no problem, sir. submission of the comments and approval of the yes, MSU Thank board. You. The same is true for the other campus creation bills. Kindly submit the corresponding document evidencing the um, approval of the board before we will submit it to plenary for proper consideration. So ordered. Senate Bill Number 1222, 1223, 1224, and 1225, and Senate Bill Number 916 are hereby approved provisionally, conditioned upon the submission of a document evidencing the approval of the board and taking into consideration any suggestions that the board may have with respect to the establishment of another or new campus in their respective locality. So ordered. Thank you, VP Alma. There being no further matters to be taken up, Chair hereby um, suspends the hearing of the Committee on Higher Technical and Vocational Education. Hearing is suspended. Thank you for your attendance. Thank you, Bernie. Thank you, Mr. Chair.